Yo, what's up guys? It's me, Turgo Pro. Welcome to our video today. It's all about installing Chrome OS into our old laptop. Why would we install Chrome OS? Because it's a lightweight program. If you haven't heard about Chrome OS, it is based on Chromium OS that is being used by Chromebooks of Google. So if you don't know Chromebooks, feel free to Google it. I have an old laptop here, it's Pentium Dual Core, and it has been here since Windows Vista. Right now, I decided to revive it using a Chrome OS, and that will be our video today. First up guys, you can type in Cloud Ready into your browser, or click the link on the description below, you'll be directed to Neverware. They're the one who created Cloud Ready, turns almost any computer into a Chrome device. Cloud Ready is free to use for home users, of course. So click on the tab here and click Home. Then we'll be directed to where we can download our installer. Scroll down until you reach Download USB Maker. Click this and it will download the USB Maker for that OS. We need to wait for a while. When it's done, we are going to run it. Wait up. There you go. So you need to have the USB plugged in. So that's one for me. It's plugged in. If you have that one ready, go for next. If your computer is within that range, then you can select the 64-bit version. Next. Then this is my SanDisk that is plugged in a while back. You press next and you need to wait up for this one to download the installer. Now, for me, I have fast forward this one. So this will be depending on how fast your internet is because it's going to download that OS from the internet. So if you're not doing anything while waiting for that, it's a good time to make your coffee, sit back and relax. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One hundred percent is done. And then this will take another 20 minutes to make that installer. So again, this is on a fast forward manner. So you can see that fast-paced loading kind of thing. So here we go, it's 100%, we're done. So we can click finish and then close this one. We can unplug this one and plug it to the old laptop that I have. That's my old laptop ready for shooting. I had to set up that tripod at the back. And by the way, this old laptop that I have, the keyboard is not working, so I have to use an external keyboard. Okay, it's time to plug in this USB stick for installation. We power this one on. Make sure you know the boot menu key for your laptop. For me, it's F12, so that we can boot into that USB stick. So I'm going to select my SanDisk, there you go and install that one press enter here we go i need to zoom zoom in so that you can see clearly okay it's booting up this is the first page that we have and we're going to Click on let's go. We need to connect to an internet connection. So I'm going to go for that. Now take note, this first setup we're doing is from the USB stick. So I'll just put in the password. Continue. Connecting. Next, continue. Okay. 
please wait. Yeah, we're waiting. And we need to put in our Gmail account, an existing Gmail account. Next. Then, of course, our password. And then we should be in. I'm fixing my tripod here. It's moving. Okay, that's it. Take note, guys. We are still booting from the USB stick. So our goal is that we need to install the Chrome OS into the hard drive so that we are going to boot into our hard drive. Now, before we do that, let's try to navigate f some of the things that we can see here, like the Action Center of Microsoft OS, and try to click on the Start menu for Microsoft OS. It's uh, fairly different from this Chrome OS. Okay, let's proceed. On your keyboard, press Windows L at the same time. This will lock the Chrome OS. And then, next, you need to press Control alt f 2 at the same time. So that we can go to the terminal or I don't know what you call this one. So that we can enter commands. So this will be the next thing that you're going to see. Now I'm going to zoom this one so that you can see what I'm typing. Okay. That's how it looks like. Second thing, you type Kronos or Chrome OS. Press enter. Okay, that's what you're going to see. You're going to see that green Kronos localhost. Second thing we're going to do, type in lsblk and this will list the drives that we have so check on what we have here we have sda that is 111 gigabyte that's where we're going to install the chrome os i mean chrome os <laughs> funny okay zoom this one out so that you can see that's how it looks like so it's very very long list now the next thing we're going to do is type our succeeding commands so that we can install that OS into our hard drive. So I'll zoom in again. You type this command. I'll put this command in the description below so that you can just copy paste if you want to. So for me, I'll type it because I'm doing it. So while I'm capturing this one, it's um, I need to press one by one on the keyboard. So it's taking time. DST dev is DA and then press enter. If you mistype something, it will give an error and you can type it again. You'll be prompted with yes or no. You type in Y and then press enter. And this installation will take time again. I just did a fast forward with this. So basically, when I timed this one, I guess it took me about like 15 minutes. 15, yeah, 15 minutes. You'll be seeing invalid messages, but just ignore it. It will be finished. So at the end, you will see that it will stop scrolling. And I'll zoom that one so that we can read. Sorry. Please shut down. Remove the USB device. Cross your fingers and reboot. Hmm. Okay. So we are going to remove the USB stick and then reboot. Cross your fingers. It should work. Cloud ready is there. So let's wait. Let's go. And then we connect to the Wi-Fi network again. Deja vu. <laughs> Type in our password. Connect. And checking for updates. Continue. Deja vu. Please wait. Yes, we're waiting. 
Okay, sign in with the account again. Next. And then password. Next. All right. There you go. How day? The second thing you will be doing here is try to install the apps with Google Chrome. Where do we do that one? Web Store. So I took another angle so that we can work much better here. Click on that start menu. I don't know what they call that one. And then let's go to Web Store. Here you can type anything from extension to apps. And then you can install your games. Install. There you go. You kind of install these things. So you're limited to the apps and extensions that are available with the Chrome Web Store. That's the disadvantage with using Chrome OS. But what what we can benefit from this is how lightweight it is to use. Okay. Now the installation I'm going to do with the apps and extensions, I'll just do a fast forward so that you can see. And yeah, that's just about it. Spotify, what else do you like? You see, all of the apps will be lined up here. So you keep searching for the apps you like to use. On the start menu, you'll have all your apps. That's just about it for our tutorial today. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, share it to your friends. And see you on my next video.